Hi everyone! A lot of people think of the Netherlands as this really chill and really progressive place where LGBT rights are taken super seriously. And the Netherlands were indeed the first country to legalize gay marriage back in 2001 when no other country had established that yet. Yeah. So I think today it would be interesting to also talk about what our experience is of being gay and being foreigners in the Netherlands. So before we get started, we would like to give you a bit of uh, background information about the both of us. So I'm Shan. I come from China. I actually spent the first 20, 21 years of my life in China. Um, as you can imagine, being gay is not a particularly easy thing in China um, because of all the legal aspects that are just not in place for gay people, but also because of the general societal attitudes towards gay people. It was somewhat difficult for me uh, growing up as gay. It took me a long time to actually accept uh, who I actually am. Um, and I also did not come out to my parents until I was about 20 years old, right before I came to Europe. Um, so this experience definitely influences how I see my experience of being gay in the Netherlands. Yeah. So as for me, I'm German. I lived in Germany the first like 20 years of my life, 21 years of my life. And when I realized that I was gay, I had some like in internal struggles for a while, but in a way it made it easy for me to come out because Gay people are very present on German television, there's like gay news anchors and gay politicians. So that made it easy for me to come out when I was like 16 or 17. So besides, you know, not gay marriage not being a thing for a very long time in Germany, I don't think I ever felt really like less than and I didn't have that many negative experiences. So we think there are four things we find very interesting to talk about. Um, these are legal aspects, work, private life and also public life. Yeah. As for the legal aspects, an important thing that the Netherlands has is very clear-cut and very good anti-discrimination laws, which mm -hmm. apply to a lot of different facets, uh, you know, like disability, skin color, but also sexual orientation. So if you do face shit for being gay in the Netherlands, there's a very good legal case you can make and you always have the law on your side. This of course applies to everybody and not just people who actually live in the Netherlands or, or who have Dutch citizenship, but mm -hmm. it applies to you know, you as a tourist as well. Yeah, so like we mentioned in the beginning of the video, the Netherlands has legalized gay marriage for a long time and that right applies to everybody who lives in the Netherlands. So as long as you have Dutch residency, be it short term, long term, you'll be allowed to marry whoever you want. Um, Even if that person doesn't live in the Netherlands. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Gay people also basically have the same rights when it comes to adoption. And when it comes to blood donation, as gay people, it's very similar to the rest of the world. Um, it's still generally quite difficult mm. if you want to donate blood as gay people here. Um, it requires that you need to be abstinent for at least a couple of months, I think. Yeah, but I mean, as much as that sucks, this is actually probably the only, you know, legal thing that's different for gay people in the Netherlands, whereas the rest just pretty much, you know, we're the same, we have the same legal standing as straight couples or straight people. Yeah. So both of us work at a university. We're both doing our PhDs right now um, and in our workplace we are both openly gay. Uh, we also have openly gay colleagues, um, yeah. actually quite some of them. Yeah. Um, also in all levels of, uh, of the university, you know, we have like yeah. from PhDs to more higher up. So. And also masters and yeah, students. Yeah, also yeah. students, yeah. yeah. So there are just gays everywhere. <laughs> And so far we haven't had any negative reaction from no. our colleagues, um, whether it's from work or from when we're still studying. Mm. Um, it just feels very natural to mention that we have a gay partner or a husband. Um, this hasn't been a problem yet. Also a lot of Dutch companies and universities, uh, they do take pride in making diversity a like key part of their public image, but also their you know HR strategy and to also really embrace this whole culture of diversity and also being embraceive of the LGBT community. So you see, for example, big banks and even the police and universities and all kinds of, you know, entities uh, sponsoring pride parades and celebrating coming out day and stuff like yeah, that. Sure. As for our private life, we, I think, are very comfortable, like walking hand in hand in street. I think um, mm -hmm. that also applies to basically most parts of the city, but you know, as in always, as in any city, you always have some weird parts where we also don't go, but where yeah. we live, it's no problem whatsoever. For me, it's a bit different, mm -hmm. uh, especially when it comes to holding hands in the street or other forms of uh, PDA. Um, that I think probably has to do with me growing up in a culture 
where these things are just not very normalized. Um, and so for instance, when we walk hand in hand in the street and I run into a group of uh, Chinese people, be it Chinese students or Chinese people work here or just tourists, I all of us all of a sudden feel very uncomfortable because um, it's sort of like a reminder for me that I still need to act accordingly to the culture where I grew up. Also in other situations in our private life, I think we're just treated like any other, you know, mm -hmm. couple, straight couple. When we were looking for an apartment, for example, we went to a realtor and like they just treated us like any other couple. Yeah. And even though our landlord is actually the church, they were like <laughs> very happy to take us in. And there's also another gay couple living in the building. Yeah. So that doesn't seem to have hurt our chances. And what Chris just said also applies to getting married. So we got married um, several months ago, but we already started to um, apply and uh, prepare all the documents more than a year ago. And, and during the whole process, we didn't feel that we were treated in any way different from straight couple. Yeah. Um, everything went very smoothly. Uh, we had uh, amazing consultations um, and also wedding planners and which were us actually. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> but, municipality was also very accommodating. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we basically basically got all the support that we could get. Um, yeah. Just very similar to any straight couple. Um, yeah, so I think in that regard, um, our private life as a gay people here is just I think very well protected um, and the same as everybody else. Yeah. So something that I noticed in the Netherlands is that gay people are very visible. That applies to both male gay people um, but also um, lesbians. For instance, when we walk in the street or when we go to supermarkets, we can often see uh, people of the same sex holding hands. Um, um, that just seems like a very normal thing and yeah. of course that also helps us to feel more comfortable and safe and mm. accepted in this country. Yeah, also a lot of you will have probably heard about Amsterdam Pride, it's like huge and there's so many other Pride events all around the country mm -hmm. and in the weeks leading up to it there's like rainbow flags also on a lot of like uh, commercial and public buildings and it's actually kind of celebrated like a public holiday almost. Uh, yeah, for everyone. Yeah, especially in Amsterdam. It's also like a lot of families, like a lot of people who I know for a fact are straight, just yeah. go there to have a good time and to just celebrate that everybody is allowed to be whoever they want to be. Yeah. So that's, that's really great. But of course, all of these things we just said doesn't mean that everything is perfect in this country, right? Because we, we ourselves, we've had some small incidents, mostly actually in Germany and Belgium now that I think about it, but I think you are just by virtue of being a foreigner, you're somewhat discriminated in this country. Yeah. Yeah, especially as a Chinese nowadays because of the whole Corona situation. Yeah, sometimes um, you just get shouted at by people just yeah. because you are Chinese. Also, what's very sad is that there's uh, always some attacks against gay people, uh, actually several hundreds every year, even though the number has been decreasing year after year, which is great. But uh, when it does happen, um, it's sometimes really horrible how, uh, how violent these attacks can be. But the good thing in a way is, is that because there is such a strong public consensus that we should be tolerant to one another and these things are really mm -hmm. not okay, it's almost instantly in the media and it's always frowned upon and there's a huge public backlash when it happens. Even so far that uh, I think it was a couple of years ago when a gay couple was beaten up and uh, to show their solidarity with the LGBT community, basically all members of parliament, they walked hand in hand into the parliament building. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the kind of, you know, support that the gay community gets when we do get attacked. Um, but of course, we hope this will get better over time because yeah. uh, no matter how much better the situation is getting, when events like this happens, um, it just sucks, you know, especially yeah. for people who are being attacked. Yeah, um, it's just really bad. Yeah. Yeah. But I think on the whole, the incidence of such um, anti-gay violence is a lot lower than than in probably a lot of other places. Yeah. And I you agree, always yeah. have the law on your side. That's the yeah, that's true. the good aspect about yeah. it. And you know, you also have ads starring gay people or targeted at gay people. And sometimes, you know, those posters get like burned or taken down. And um, the good thing is that this basically doesn't deter those companies from running such ads. Yeah. And they also make like public statements that, hey, this is not cool. And people agree that this is not a cool thing to do to you know, burn yeah. those posters. 
And you know, I think I mostly treat those as like small incidents made by stupid people because let's face it, there are stupid people everywhere. So despite all the occasional unfortunate things that can still happen to gay people in the Netherlands, overall, uh, we are quite happy living as a gay couple in the Netherlands, especially if we compare this experience as uh, what it would be in our native countries. Yeah. Um, but of course, this is only our private experiences and we definitely cannot represent, speak for those people who unfortunately have a difficult time being gay in the Netherlands. And also, Probably if we compare the Netherlands with um, many other countries in the world, um, it is still a really comfortable and safe place for gay people to live. So that was our own experience of being a non dutch gay couple in the Netherlands. We hope you liked our video. And if you want to see more of us, then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And then we'll be back with a new video very soon. Yes. Bye. Bye.